<laughs> well, the specialists call me dad. Um, and some places call me grandpa or, you know, make, make old jokes, even though I'm only a few years older than them. Um, it's, it's, it's pretty funny. It's all good fun, though. Yeah. Well, how'd you feel to, to get that opportunity and, and to come through the other night? Like, yeah. Oh, it was it was surreal. It was it was something special because, uh, like I was saying earlier, uh, grinding away for almost two years to try and have an impact in, in this program and, and for this team, it was it was special to have it all you know, come together so I could actually produce you know for, for my team. Does it make it even more special when you're a local guy and in your backyard again? Oh, no doubt. I mean. I came to you know, Baton Rouge when I was seven, eight years old to watch football games. And like those kids out there on Saturdays that are tailgating with their families that are playing football for eight straight hours before the game. I was one of those kids too, you know, whenever I was. So they would tell me, you know, years ago, but I was one of those kids uh, a long time ago playing in the parking lots and enjoying uh, the atmosphere of the games. <laughs> Was it always was it always a goal of yours to play here? I mean, with it being right in your backyard. Um, well, after I went to uh, professional baseball, I you know I, it was kind of an afterthought. I didn't you know I didn't expect to to I thought baseball was going to be my career. You know, I, and I was planning on making a career of baseball, and then um, you know those dreams you know, came to an end. But you know you always got to come up with another dream, and the next dream eventually was playing college football. And I was like, why not? And, and I knew that I had the ability to do it. It was just a matter of the will to, um, with the help of a lot of people along the way, I've, I've gotten here. How did